Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share 5 gorgeous nude lipsticks for brown and dusky Indian skin tones. All of the lipsticks that I'm showing you in today's video are extremely comfortable and good in quality as well as they feel extremely nourishing and comfortable on your lips. Without wasting any more time, let's get started with the video. The first lipstick that I have is from Kiro Beauty. This is their Lush Moist Matte Lipstick in the shade Warm Nutmeg. First of all, I absolutely love the packaging of this lipstick. It's a very, very classy and luxe looking packaging. Also really love the cap. It has a magnetic closure. The cap closes pretty sturdy and also remains intact. So this lipstick is a bullet lipstick as you can see and it's a very very beautiful creamy bullet lipstick in a single stroke application you get full intensity of the lipstick but after a while it kind of settles down to a beautiful satiny matte finish and also not to mention it is an extremely comfortable formula of lipstick Kero Beauty is also a vegan and cruelty free brand they also include a lot of skincare ingredients in their products which makes it even more skin friendly Jade Nutmeg is a gorgeous warm tone nude color it's a muted brown with a lot of brick undertones to it and I think it looks amazing on dusky complexions. These kind of warm nudes really brightens up your whole face instead of dulling it. Sometimes nudes can do that, it can dull up your whole face but this one doesn't. It's a beautiful, lively, warm nude color. If you have a very, very similar complexion like me, then all of these lipsticks that I'm showing you in today's video work absolutely beautiful even without a lip liner. The shade Warm Nutmeg absolutely looks stunning on its own. You do not require any lip liner. This is a gorgeous everyday nude kind of a color and I absolutely love it on my skin tone. The next lipstick that I have is from Maybelline. This is their Super Stay Ink Crayon. The shade that I have is called Live on the Edge which is a very very popular shade of lipstick in this particular range. It is a very popular shade for a reason because it is a very very unique kind of a nude lipstick color. Especially if you have dusky and deeper Indian complexion, this is just the perfect kind of nude lipstick to go for. It's a brown nude with a lot of burgundy undertones to it. So that is why I think it looks amazing on dusky and brown Indian complexions. So just like the name suggests, it's a lip crayon. So you can easily apply this lipstick all over your lips. You can also use it to contour your lips as well. You do not require any lip liner. Uh, apart from the lipstick itself. Again, it's a very very comfortable creamy formula. You do have to build it up a little bit to get more of that intensity from this lipstick but other than that, it's a gorgeous deep brown and burgundy tone kind of a nude lipstick for dusky and dark Indian complexions. You can wear this lipstick pretty much for any occasions be it for everyday wear, college, office or even for parties and weddings this would look absolutely stunning on dusky brown complexions. Especially if you are on the deeper spectrum of skin tones, you would really really enjoy this particular shade of lipstick because it has a lot of depth in color. It looks amazing on even deeper complexions. The finish of this lip crayon is a beautiful satiny matte finish. The next lipstick that I have is from NYX. This is their soft matte lip cream which is again a very popular range of lipsticks from NYX. And the shade that I have is called Rome which is such a beautiful rosy nude color for dusky complexions. Really love the comfortable cushiony formula of the soft matte lip creams from NYX. Have a whipped uh, mousy consistency to them. Again, you do have to build it up a couple of times to get a proper intensity out of this lipstick. Once you build it up, it is such a gorgeous rosy nude color. Especially for dusky skin tones, it is very very hard to find beautiful rosy pink uh, kind of lipsticks for everyday wear and this is such a gorgeous one. When you apply it, it definitely feels a lot more moussey and creamy but after a while it settles down to a beautiful matte finish and it is kind of transfer resistant as well. You do not require any lip liner with this particular lipstick if you have a very similar complexion like mine. Such a lovely mauvey pink nude color for dusky and brown Indian skin tones. The next nude lipstick that I have is from Nykaa. This is their Lux Matte Lipstick in the shade Shuffle. Again, I absolutely love the packaging of the Nykaa Lux Matte Lipsticks. It's a very uh, bulky kind of a packaging so it feels very luxe when you hold it in your hand. This has a very similar uh, closure to that of the Kiro Beauty uh, Lush Moist Matte Lipsticks. So it shuts pretty tightly and remains intact. Again, this lipstick is a bullet format and it's a beautiful neutral nude kind of a color. It is a lot more on the peachy side but it's not extremely warm in nature. So this is gonna look absolutely fantastic with 
a lot of deeper smoky eyes like I'm wearing uh, for today's look. Of course, you can wear it on its own as well for everyday wear as well. It would look absolutely beautiful and extremely natural. But when you do such kind of intense dramatic smoky eyes, or if you're a person who likes to wear a lot of kajal for everyday wear as well, this lipstick would pair amazing with such kind of makeup looks. The formula is very very rich and creamy and it has a lot of pigmentation in a single swipe itself and also it feels extremely comfortable and cushiony on your lips. If you have slightly deeper complexion than me, you would definitely require a lip liner with this particular shade of lipstick. It's a gorgeous nude lipstick for dusky brown girls nonetheless. The final lip product is the one that I'm wearing right now and it is again from the brand Kiro Beauty. This is their Super Butter Lip Lacquer in the shade Spiced Nutmeg. As you can see, it's a glossy finish lipstick. This is infused with Murumuru and Kupaku Butter. Again, it's cruelty free, vegan, no parabens, no toxins, so it is extremely friendly on your lips. So the packaging is that of a lip gloss, but it's not like your regular lip gloss kind of a product. It has a lot of pigmentation to it and it is high in shine on the lips. Although it is a glossy finish lipstick, it doesn't feel tacky or sticky on the lips. It is extremely comfortable, almost like a balmy texture on the lips. You don't have to dig into the container again and again to get the full intensity of this particular lip lacquer. It is a very, very opaque formula. Again, the shade Spice Nutmeg is to die for. I love these kind of glossy lipsticks. It's a beautiful, warm, brick-toned, peachy nude kind of a color. I am a sucker for glossy lipsticks and glosses in general, so I absolutely love how this looks against my complexion. It's an extremely flattering glossy nude lipstick on my skin tone. Again, you can wear this with your nude makeup looks or even with dramatic makeup looks. It looks amazing either ways. So you guys, those are my five nude lipsticks for dusky brown and deep Indian complexions. Of course, these are not super affordable lipsticks. They are kind of on the mid range of pricing, but they are absolutely beautiful nude lipsticks. They are extremely good in quality. They are much, much safer on your lips as well. I will definitely come up with more nude lipsticks for brown dusky complexions on my channel for sure because I keep trying a lot of lipsticks. Brands these days are coming up with so many different lipsticks. So I will definitely keep you guys posted on what looks good on dusky and brown Indian complexions. All the lipsticks that I showed you in today's video will be linked in the description box for your reference. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos make sure to hit the bell notification to get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel also follow me on my instagram i'll put the link in the description box this is it take care of yourselves and i shall see you guys soon in my next one bye